Hello, time travelers. Do you want to know a way to dramatically speed up the time it takes to generate images with SDXL and Automatic 1111? Well, I just found out a method yesterday. Harry7653 told me in a comment how he was running the dev version and it was much faster and more stable. So I asked him how to install it and he told me and now I'm going to tell you. This is my look of disapproval. Actually, this is my look of approval because this is the third version of Automatic 11.11 that I've tried since SDXL came out. That doesn't include the demo version that Life is Boring So Programming made. So technically this is the fourth version I've tried. The devs at Automatic 11.11 are developing so fast it's freaking insane. Check out this image I generated. Just look at the resolution, 3264 by 4096. Isn't that insane? Zoom all the way in. And that's what the eyes look like right there. And I used another upscaler that I downloaded and added to Stable Diffusion called Realistic Upscaler. Here's the same image, but with one of the built-in upscalers, the r urgern 4 x or whatever that says. But I'm gonna show you how this image started. This is just a regular image from the prompt. See, 856 by 1104. And then I used After Detailer to fix the face. It's still 856 by 1104. And then I used HiRes.Fix. Yes, HiRes.Fix works in SDXL on Automatic 11.11 now. Now it's 1720 by 2216. And then when I added it to Alter Upscaler, it went to 3440 by 4432. So I'm gonna go back and forth so you can see the difference. Before Alter Upscaler and after the Alter Upscaler. I was able to make it through all the different steps to make that super duper high res upscaled image. You might not be able to, but just as a test before I started filming this video, I put in a 3070 in another computer, which only has eight gigs of VRAM. It's super slow at the really, really high res stuff, which is expected, but it's still doing it. Look, it's in the middle of doing the ultra upscaler on this image right here. Here's the regular one. Here's after detailer and there's with Refiner, and Refiner works too. It's built in, you don't have to add a plugin. And then there's HiRes.Fix, and we'll come back to this later and see how it did. I recommend setting up a new installation of Automatic 11.11 so you don't break your old one since this is a dev version, but that's up to you. If you want to switch your installation of Automatic 11.11 to the dev version or one of your versions that you have installed, you can skip to the section by scrubbing the little slider, what's it, to go to the chapter about commands. The dev version is pretty amazing compared to the previous video where I suffered and struggled trying to get SDXL to, to be stable. And if you want to watch me suffer for the lulls and maybe give me constructive criticism in the form of roasts, because I like those, as you could tell in my previous videos when I pick on other Stable Diffusion YouTubers. You can watch that video right here, later, after watching this one, obviously. If you want to install a new copy of Stable Diffusion, stay right here. To start, we need to be careful not to break any current installations of Stable Diffusion you have, so make sure you're not running it, and go to your Stable Diffusion folder. I liked all my Stable Diffusion stuff to live inside of one folder. See, there's mine, and I've got my Koya, and other stuff I messed around with, and a few versions of SDXL, but don't worry about that. We're gonna be pretending that this folder is my Stable Diffusion folder, the one that says demo for video. And so let's say I've got Stable Diffusion Web UI already installed in there. I'm gonna hit F2 on it to rename, go to the end and type regular or SD 1.5, whatever it is to remind you which one it is and just hit enter. And then press Windows button R on your keyboard and this run box will open. Type in CMD in there, press enter, put this below this so you can see what you're typing. You can type CD space slash D space double quote. And you can just grab that and copy paste it and press enter. I'm gonna have this linked into the script of what's it's, but you go to the automatic 11.11 repo on GitHub, click the green code button, what's it? And then the copy button next to the your old, And then you type git clone and right click to paste and just do that. And depending on your internet speed, that only takes a couple minutes. This is what it just downloaded. See, you got all your magical stuff in there. And then hit F2 on it, go to the end, and type dash SDXL dash dev. Hit enter, and go back to your regular one and take whatever you put off the end off of it. So now these are separate from each other. Go in here, find your web UI dash user dot bat, hit control C and then control V and it makes a copy of it. Hit F2 to rename it and rename it web UI dash SDXL. Right click that and hit show more, whatever the stupid thing is at the bottom of Windows 11, and then edit. 
if you're rocking Windows 10 like a boss, just go to edit. And you only want two things in the command line args. Dash dash xformers. And then dash dash medvram if you have an RTX 3090 or 4090 because they have 24 gigabytes of VRAM. If you don't, you have another one, like a 3080 Ti or a 3060 12 gig, they have 12 gigs of VRAM, or even an eight gigabyte VRAM GPU, like the 3070 that I'm running in this machine. Oh, it just finished that. We'll look at that in a second. So for 12 gigabytes or an eight gigabyte GPU, you want LOW VRAM. But for mine, I'm putting MED v VRAM. I'm gonna hit Control S to save that and close that. I'm not gonna run that yet. I'm gonna go to models. I need to put some models in there. I've got links to a couple of Hugging Face pages. The first one is Stable Diffusion XL Base. You scroll down, your little download buttons are right here. You got your regular model, the one with a Ve, and this Laura. The Laura goes in a different folder. I'll show you in a second. And then you got this other one for the refiner. And you've got two versions of the refiner. So this is my actual dev installation of SDXL I started using yesterday. So I'm gonna show you what all I've got in there. You need to have at least one model downloaded or the first time you run your web UI user or whatever you named it, dot bat, it will download a model and take forever. It goes into stable diffusion. And I recommend making a new folder in there called SDXL so that when you're running it, you'll see SDXL up in the corner and you'll remember which version you're running of Stable Diffusion. In my case, I'm just gonna copy over the ones that go in there. So if you check it out, here's the, the model and the Vey version and the refiner and the refiner with the Vey version that I just showed you on Hugging Face. They all go in here into this folder, your Stable Diffusion Web UI SDXL Dev, Models, Stable Diffusion, SDXL. And then go up back into the Models folder and then make a new folder and it's gonna be capital L, lowercase o, capital R, capital A. Make a new folder inside of there called SDXL. You can actually organize your models any way you want with folders here. Like you could put SDXL-people for the faces that you train, or you can go inside of the SDXL folder and put a folder, it doesn't matter. It'll all organize it in the GUI for you. Here's the offset lore that I showed you on the Hugging Face page. I'm gonna copy that over. And that's going into the Models Laura SDXL folder. Again, on one of the Hugging Face pages, you'll see it right here. Since SDXL dev version does support hi-res.fix, I can copy this Urzgran or whatever it is folder over to get all the upscaler models that I've downloaded. I showed you guys how to download those models and where to get them in a previous video about how to get ready to train in for embeddings. You don't have to watch that whole 45 minute video. I've got it all, you know, bookmarked and you could just go straight to that chapter. Another one's embeddings. I'm just gonna knock that out now while I'm here. So I'm gonna go back up a folder to where I'm just in my base stable diffusion web UI folder and go into embeddings, make a new folder called STXL. And in the last video, Stable Diffusion would not detect anything I put in either of these folders. It does now. So I'm putting my unest, unest, it's uh, unest, unest, unesthetic Excel that I found off Civit AI in there. I can't talk. Now I'm going back to my command line window while I'm waiting for this to finish up. And I'm type CD space and type STAB and then press tab and then tab again so I have the right version. So I'm in that folder, type web UI dash SD and then press tab to autocomplete. Wait for this to finish about one minute and 15 seconds. Meanwhile, let's look at this image that it made. Save it. Now let's open that up. 4096 by 4096. Jiminy Christmas. The details of this image is freaking insane. And so I show you proof that I made it on a 3070. Here's hardware info 64 RTX 3070. And this is how much VRAM is currently being used, but while you're rendering, it uses the whole thing. And each step takes progressively more time in it. I'll show you more about that after we've installed it. Now I'm going to press enter for webui-sdxl.bat that I typed earlier, so that it's going to actually do the downloading and installation of everything it needs. All right, I'm back. I actually went to go live my life while I waited ages. For that to run, I don't know how long it took. I was actually washing dishes and then started thawing some chicken for my dinner. But I digress. Once it's loaded, you like usuals, you're gonna copy paste the URL. This is what I was working on earlier. You can ignore that. That's also SDXL. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Or just hit a bookmark, like I do. 
And now that we've got it loaded, we're gonna be installing some plugins that are compatible with SDXL. So let's go to extensions and then available and hit load from. You all should be familiar with this. Hit control F on your keyboard and that's gonna show this search box what's it from down here. And you're gonna put in detailer and it's called after detailer. So hit install for that. It's gonna gray it out, wait for it to not be grayed out anymore. Press control home on your keyboard so it goes back up to the top. And when it comes back to where it's not grayed out, you can hit control F again and put aspect ratio helper. This is one I recently discovered to help me get my aspect ratios right so I didn't have to keep figuring it out for like Instagram and because that website is all picky about your images. And click install on it. And afterwards it says install to blah, 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 aspect ratio helper. I was gonna tell you how to install Refiner, but guess what? It's already built in. So we're not doing that one. We want the ultimate upscaler. So I'm just gonna copy paste it from here so you can see it. I ignore that. I was getting some images to train a model earlier. This is what the page looks like. Again, green code button, copy the URL, go to stable diffusion, hit install from URL, paste it into the top box, hit install. Boop. Now we want to go to the installed tab, hit check for updates, just in case. Everything's up to date because it's a brand new fresh installation, but just in case. You hit apply and restart UI. I'm wet for... And wet. I'm getting tired. Another wet willy? Worst one yet. And wait for the browser to reload. This is actually an important thing. We can't just break this and reload it to download stuff because it's doing stuff here. See that? This is future me saying, wait for it to say share equals true in launch. But we do want to break it with control C. And since I opened CMD earlier by itself and then changed the folder to the right place, when I break it, it's gonna leave this command window open. Then it says terminate batch job, hit Y, hit enter. Now this is the command section that I talked about earlier. If you're going to turn an existing installation of Automatic 11.11 into the dev version, start here. Otherwise you're installing a brand new version and you're just watching the whole video and you're up to this part. So in your command line window that's open to the installation inside of the folder where you install it, you wanna type GIT space LOG space minus one. What that does is shows you what version you have. See how I have master 1.5.1 and this is the same version of SDXL that I was using in the last video where I struggled with it. And now you wanna type GIT space checkout space dev. And it switches you to the dev branch and I'm press up on my keyboard a couple times, see what version I got just to verify. I'm on the dev now instead of the master. Now I'm going to type GIT space P-U-L-L -L to get the latest version. Press enter. It says already up to date. If you want it to download the latest version every single time you run Stable Diffusion, you can type notepad and then web UI dash SDXL dot bat that you made earlier. And you could type GIT P-U-L-L -L in there and then save it. I, I don't like surprises, so I don't do that. And now let's go ahead and run it again like so and wait for that to load up now it's loaded up oh <laughs> that's another <laughs> i left it open from last night i was training more faces you guys got to be subscribed if you want to see how to train laura's for sdxl i'm pretty close to recording that video so i'm gonna go to stable diffusion again i have it saved in a bookmark so there are a few changes in the dev version that I wanna show you guys. First thing is, is that the refiner is already there and the high res dot fix is hidden behind this, this thing. So instead of using a checkbox for high res dot fix, you open it up. So if this is closed, it's not gonna run high res dot fix. You open it up and you choose your upscaler. And like I told you earlier, I have a bunch of upscalers that I downloaded myself. And you have this expanded, then refiners down here and your checkpoint. You choose one of your refiners, like that one. Where it says switch at, in the version of iMac 11, 11, I think 1.5.1, it had a 20 there and said a percentage. So high res fix, if you don't know already, it just adds steps to the sampling steps and then it does it at higher scale so that your regular sampler is capable of doing higher resolution without, you know, getting memory errors. Refiner's different. It uses a percentage of the final set of steps. So Automatic 11.11, 1.5.1, under the Refiner plugin that you had to add, said 20 there and it was percentage. So 
If you had 100 steps, steps 1 through 80 would be done by the sampling steps in hi-res.fix, so then the last 20 would have been this, or however many steps you have, it'd be the, the last 20%. So 0.8 is the equivalent of the last 20%. That means it's not starting until 80% of the steps. But another difference is these shapes and colors buttons. Like the send to image to image button is, what the frick is this? I don't like shapes and colors on my computer. I like text labels. Look at my Windows 10 taskbar, bro. I'm professional. I'm organized. I'm efficient. This is my look of disapproval. The next thing I noticed was that there are new samplers. You got your normal Euler A and DPM++ 3MSD Keras. This one was my favorite. Usually used at 60 to 70 steps on it. But you got these other ones that I've been seeing in comfy UI workflows, which is very interesting. It's good to see those. And the extended networks button is missing, and I freaked out for like three seconds when this happened. Everybody stay calm! We're all gonna die! And actually, if you see me on my YouTube videos and I freak out, I'm acting. My freak out face is this. <laughs> and I'm looking around trying to figure it out. And they moved them over here, so you don't have to do that anymore. And look, the, the, the textual inversion embeddings, what's it, works again. It was broken in the last version. And like I was saying earlier about putting all your SDXL stuff in its own folder, that way you see it there and you see it here and you know, oh wait, I'm in my SDXL one. Now I'm gonna show you some of the images I generated with SDXL and the plugins. You saw this one earlier that got insanely huge. Then I changed the prompt a little bit to use the Gal Gadot Laura that I trained for SDXL. Again, you gotta be subscribed if you wanna see how to train SDXL Lauras. Then I found this image on Civit AI. I'll show it to you. I saved it in my notes right here. Here it is. There's the prompt, blah, blah, blah. I just downloaded the image and the model just called SDXL on Civit AI. I'll link it into descriptables, obviously. And if you're gonna download and use the PNG info, like I said in my last video, make sure it says text to image so it doesn't like screw up and make your thing lock up and crash. So I went from that image and then I added a Laura I trained for Amber Mid Thunder and it looked like that. <laughs> and it's funny, then I realized that the prompt for this, they wanted her to have a matchstick in her mouth. And the next one, I just dude random seeds and her face didn't look quite right. So then there's another seed. I didn't realize this until later, but this one needed more sampling steps in order to get a good generation. And then here, is me using a model called Dream Shaper XL with the Billie Eilish lore that I trained. There's that image. And then the next one's gonna be with a detailer. And you see how a detailer improves it a whole lot. And then the next one is HiRes.fix gets even better. And the next one is with Refiner it gets a little bit better. And then look, I tried to use the ultimate upscaler and it glitched and put her face all over the what's it. And then I tried some different settings with Ultimate Upscaler and it got worse. But generating that image originally, you know, sampling steps, 50, CFG eight. Here's the resolution and here's the aspect ratio helper. It's off right now. Upscale by two, I chose our Ergern 4X, high res steps 10, denoising strength 35. Then there's a detailer. I was just doing one on the face. Before I close out the video, I'm gonna show you a tiny bit about the aspect ratio helper. You got these different sizes down here like that, say you put in 1024 by, well first unlock it obviously, put in 1024 by 1024, and you want four by five, which is the tall one that Instagram takes. You hit the five by four and then hit switch. Now the height's 1024 and the width is 816. It's that kind of easiness just to quickly get what you need out of it. Other than that, if you guys have any pointers about SDXL, please let us all know in the comments. And again, why don't you watch my first SDXL video and just laugh at me and how I wasted my time and kept breaking stuff by clicking this video over here, right there. And this video you can watch, you want to learn how to train Lauras. It's a long video, but my Laura SDXL video is going to be just an appendum to that. Appendum? And then you can click down over here to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.